He contributed on the germ theory of disease, the theory that specific microorganisms cause specific infectious disease. He also developed vaccine to prevent chicken pox, cholera, and anthrax and swine erysipelas, or in other terms, it's called skin disease. Louis Pasteur also developed vaccine to prevent rabies in dog. So, that is the contribution of Mr. Louis Pasteur in the field of microbiology. Next, we have Robert Koch. Robert Koch also gave discoveries and contribution in the field of microbiology. One of it is he contributed on the germ theory of disease. He discovered bacillus anthracis produced in spores by spores. He developed methods of fixing, staining, and photographing in bacteria. He developed methods of cultivating bacteria on solid media. And lastly, he also discovered a bacterium that caused tuberculosis. So that was the scientist and person behind the work, behind the discoveries in the field of microbiology. Okay, next, let's continue or let's continue our discussion in the categories or virus categories or different types of microorganism it includes first virus as we all know virus is very small and has a simple structure if the virus has been completed it is called virons there are a lot of types of organism that can be infected by virus as always remember that if the virus infected the host it will depending on it it will depend on the host itself and if uh, it will infected, it will reproduce, and by that, virus can literally uh, take over the host function. And these are those uh, organisms that can be infected by the virus. We have humans, animals, plants, fungi, protozoa, algae, and bacteria. So these are this these are the following which can be infected by the virus or which can be an host. Okay. Next. Okay, next, we also have the characteristic of virus that can we, we can distinguish if the virus has already infected in the living cell. First one is the virus can possess either DNA or RNA. The virus can be unable to replicate on their own. It, it, it like it like a cell. It can replicate on, on their own. Or it can pre it, it can exist from the pre existing uh, virus. It do not divide the binary fission, lack enzyme for energy production, and also depend on the ribosome enzyme of the host cells for protein and nucleic acid production. And there are composition of virus. As we all know, virus composed of genome, either DNA or RNA. It is also composed by capsid, which is also known as a protein coat. And also composed of cap capsomer or the subunit of capsid. Viruses also has a can be or viruses can be classified according to the type of genetic material, shape of capsid, number of capsomer, size of capsid, presence and absence of envelope, type of host or type of organism that can that the virus can be infected, type of disease, target cell, and antigenic properties. And Next, of course, next uh, categories of microorganism, we have bacteria. Bacteria, there are three basic shape of bacteria. Bacteria can be round or sp spherical or also called as coccus. Bacteria can be rectangular or rod shape or also known as bacillus. Bacteria can be curved and spiral shape or also known as spiralium. If it is coccus, it if it is single, it is called cosy. If it is in pairs, it calls diplococci. If it is in chain, streptococci. If it is in cluster, it, it also called as a staphylococci. If it is in packet of four, it is called as tetrad. If it is packet of eight, it is called octads. But if it is bacillus or it is in a rectangular or large shape, if it is in single form, it is called bacilli. And if it is in pairs, it is called diplobacilli. In chain, it is called streptobacilli. And if, and if it is the combination of coco, which is the round spherical bacteria, and bacilli, which is rectangular or rod-shaped bacteria, it, it is called coco bacilli. So bacteria not only exist from the three basic shape of bacteria, but bacteria can exist also in 
in many variety of shapes. It is de described uh, and called as feliomorphic, the ability to exist in variety of shape known as feliomorphism. So always take note with that. Okay. In bacteria, there are a process. It is called fixation. When we say fixation, it is the act or the process or the result of fixing or fixating. So there are three purposes in fixation. First is to kill the microorganism. Third is to preserve their morphology or the shape. And and third, second pala yun, and third anchors the smear to the slide. Okay. In fixation, there are two common methods of fixation. We have heat fixation. When we say heat fixation, it kills bacteria in the smear. But if we if we use a methanol fixation, it will focus on denaturing or precipitating. Why? Methanol can give a rapidly precipitation that can maintain the structure of bacteria in the smear. Okay. Next, we have another category of microorganism, which is the algae. Algae is photosynthetic, and in a in uh, in a eukaryotic organism that together with protozoan, it is consists all of cytoplasm, cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, plastid, ribosomes, mitochondria, and Kolgai complex. I know that you've already know the function of all part of eukaryotic cell. Okay, and next, uh, it, some algal cell or algae cell have pellicle. When we say pellicle, it is thickened thicken cell membrane. But when we say stigma, it is a light sensing organism. And also, some algae cell has a flagella. But algae lacks through through roots, stem, and leaves. Always remember that. Next, we have protozoan. Protozoan are are in a eukaryotic organism. Also, as I've said a while ago, algae is a eukaryotic organism together with protozoan. Most protozoan are unicellular. When we say unicellular, it has a single cell. Free living organism found in the soil and water. They have no chlorophyll. And one of the examples of protozoan is paramecium. It has two stages of life cycle. We have trophozoite or the mot motile feeding and dividing stage. We have cis or dormant or the survival stage. Okay. The last category for microorganism is the fungi. Fungi are the suf are saprophytic. Other others are parasitic. A diverse group of eukaryotic organisms that include yields, molds, and mushrooms. It is consists of by the two division. We have hape, which is filament. We have mycelium, which is talus or the body. The types of microorganism is either pathogenic or non-pathogenic when we say pathogenic the disease causing by the microorganism or the dis or we can get the disease from the microorganism non-pathogenic microorganism does not cause a disease at all so that is the type of microorganism so that would be the end of our pres uh, presentation of my presentation thank you very much for listening i hope you understand our lesson for today which is the introduction to microbiology if you have uh, any questions clarifications you you can ask it to our group chat which is the bio microbi microbiology okay thank you very much and bless god bless